Hi everyone, today we are going to study related rates. In many real world applications, related quantities are changing with respect to time. Given a balloon as example, we can say that the rate of change in the volume V is related to the rate of change in the radius r. In this case, we say that the rate of change of the volume with respect to time, that is dv over dt, and the rate of change of the radius with respect to time, that is dr over dt, are related rates because V is related to R. Let us see how to solve related rates problem. Step 1. Assign symbols to all variables involved in the problem. Draw a figure if applicable. Step 2. State in terms of the variables, the information that is given and the rate to be determined. Step 3. Find an equation or formula relating the variables introduced in step 1. Step 4. Using the chain rule, differentiate both sides of the equation found in step 3 with respect to the independent variable. In here, the independent variable is the time. Step 5. Substitute all known values into the equation from step 4. Then solve for the unknown rate of change. Example 1. A spherical balloon is being filled with air at the constant rate of 2 cubic centimeter per second. How fast is the radius increasing when the radius is 3 centimeter? For our solution, the step 1 says assign symbols to all variables involved in the problem, draw a figure if applicable. We have a figure here and it shows that as the balloon is being filled with air, both the radius and the volume are increasing with respect to time. We let V be the volume and R equals the radius. Step 2. State in terms of the variables the information that is given and the rate to be determined. Analyzing our problem here, this 2 cubic centimeter per second is the rate of change of the volume with respect to time. So that is dv over dt equals 2 cubic centimeter Per second. And in our example here, we are required to get the rate of change of the radius with respect to time. So that is dr over dt equals question mark. Step 3. Find an equation relating the variables introduced in step 1. We know the formula of the volume is equal to 4 over 3 times pi r cubed. Step 4. Using the chain rule, differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to independent variable. The independent variable here is the time denoted by t. So let us now take the derivative of this equation with respect 
to time. So we have dv over dt on the left side is equal to the constant 4 over 3. We copy down here. And then we will take the derivative of r cube with respect to the chain rule. So the 3 cube now becomes 3 r square and then multiplied by dr over dt. Of course, that pi is part of our answer here. Simplifying further, we can cancel this 3 and the denominator 3. Simplifying our formula now, we have dv over dt equals 4 pi r square times dr over dt. Step 5. Substitute all known values into the equation from step 4. Then solve for the unknown rate of change. In our problem here, the radius is given as 3 cm. Substituting now the corresponding values in here, the dv over dt is now 2 cubic centimeter per second equals the 4 pi we copy here and the r square we substitute the 3 centimeter square times the dr over dt. Simplifying the square here, we can show that we have 3 square times centimeter square. Let us simplify the units of measurement by cancelling this centimeter square and the exponent 3 here becomes 1. So the new formula now is 2 centimeter per second is equal to 36 pi times dr over dt. We want this value dr over dt. Let us divide the equation by 36 pi. So we have now 2 over 36 pi centimeter per second is equal to dr over dt. We can still simplify this fraction by reducing to lowest term. So dr over dt is equal to 1 over 18 pi centimeter per second. This is the rate of change of the radius when it is equal to 3 cm. This is our final answer. Example 2 An airplane is flying overhead at a constant elevation of 4,000 feet. A man is viewing the plane from a position 3,000 feet from the base of a radio tower. The airplane is flying horizontally away from the man. If the plane is flying at the rate of 600 feet per second, at what rate is the distance between the man and the plane increasing when the plane passes over the radio tower? For our solution, step 1 says, assign symbols to all variables involved in the problem. Draw a figure if applicable. This is our figure. An airplane is flying at a constant height of 4,000 feet. The distance between the person and the airplane and the person and the place on the ground directly below the airplane are changing. We denote those quantities with the variables S and X respectively. Step 2. State, in terms of the variables, the information that is given and the rate 
to be determined. Since x denotes the horizontal distance between the man and the point on the ground below the plane, we say that dx over dt is equal to the speed of the plane. And on the problem, it is given us 600 feet per second. Since we are asked to find the rate of change in the distance between the man and the plane when the plane is directly above the radio tower, we want to get the ds over dt. That is, when x equals 3,000 feet. Step 3. Find an equation relating the variables introduced in Step 1. Looking at our figure here, we can deduce a right triangle. And by Pythagorean theorem, we can write x squared plus 4,000 square is equal to s square. Step 4. Using the chain rule, differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to independent variable. We say that the independent variable here is the time, denoted by t. So taking the derivative now with respect to time, the derivative of x squared with respect to time is 2x times dx over dt plus the derivative of 4,000 square is 0 because this is a constant. So no need to write the plus 0 on the left. Equals the derivative of s square with respect to time is 2s times ds over dt. We can simplify further this equation by dividing by 2. So we have now x times dx over dt equals s times ds over dt. Step 5. Substitute all known values into the equation from step 4. Then solve for the unknown rate of change. Observe our equation here. The value of x is 3000. dx over dt is this 600 feet per second equals the value of s is unknown. And this ds over dt is what is required in the problem. We need the value of s. With regard to the figure here, when x is equal to 3000, we can get the value of s with respect to the Pythagorean theorem. Substituting the values, we may write 3000 square plus 4,000 square is equal to s square. Simplifying and getting the value of s, s is equal to 5,000. Let us note this value of s in here. Now, we are ready to do the substitution. So the x now becomes 3,000 feet. The dx over dt is the 600 feet per second equals the value s is now 5,000 feet times ds over dt. Simplify further by canceling the unit of feet to each side of the equation. And then let us get the product of the 3,000 by 600. So we have now the product as 1,800,000. We want the value of ds over dt. Let us divide the equation by 5,000. 
It means this 5,000 will be the divisor of this value 1,800,000. So ds over dt is equal to 360 feet per second. This is the rate of the increasing distance between the man and the plane. This is our final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.